Can I have a word? I serve the goddess and her flock. What can I help you with? You, Svana, hear about the hero's pursuits. Can outsiders sign up, or is this a closed event? Freya sees no insiders, no outsiders. Any man can pay her tribute by risking his life in the pursuits. Our races differ from those on the continent. We are beholden to one rule alone. First across the line wins. Sometimes he's the swiftest, other times it is the one who knocks his opponents off their mounts. Explains the name. There an entry fee? Courage. If you do not lack it, hang a horseshoe. Winner get a reward of any kind? He covers himself in glory, basks in proof of his valor. Mm -hmm. Was hoping for something a little more tangible. To us, such things matter least. But yes, the winner receives something to remind him of his feat. At times it is a sword, at others a helmet or a shield. How about that? See, you can be practical if you want to. Bit of exercise never killed anyone. So, where are the races held? The first three on Ard Skellig. Whoever wins each at least once returns here to Hindusfjall to face last year's best rider in a final pursuit. Gotcha. What's his name? You mean hers. Astrid of Speakerog, known as the Vipress. Lovely as monikers go. And completely deserved. Good luck, Witcher. May your deeds bring the goddess pleasure. <coughs> Not like my good for nothing, Sven. You, you're a watcher. I see and right. Greetings. Saw your notice. Huh. And they said, where you hang on that? Ain't no one else gonna hunt that beast. But I showed him. Any idea what kind of beast this is? Oh, you hear all sorts of things. The wenches clean the nets, blather about costches and manticores. But I reckon that's hogwash. We'd seek the council of Freya's priestesses, we would. But how can we when we can't get to the shrine? And nobody's gotten a glimpse of the beast? From a distance, even? Oh, they have, they have. Right close. Closer than boot and strap. Soon after, their blood spattered the underbrush. Near from the start, no ordinary man could handle the beast. But Svera insisted. Mustered a crew and... Only four came back. The rest massacred east of the village. So, will you help? Let's talk about my reward. You want to bargain? How would you count it? Heighten hands at the withers, or...? Mm, by species. Drowners less than a cockatrice. Aha! Uh -huh. But we've no notion what prowls the high road. What do you say you cut it down and then we'll talk? Mm -mm. We pre-agree a price. Define a bonus for unforeseen risks. Uh, so, how much? You knows how to bargain, grant you that. Drop it a bit more, we'll have a deal. You knows how to bargain, grant you that. Drop it a bit more, we'll have a deal. You knows how to bargain, grant you that. Drop it a bit more, we'll have a deal. Have it your way. Tis your neck on the line. I'll tend to the monster. Not your first, that's clear enough. Not like our lads. Heads full of fire, but not a morsel of thought between them. The four survivors, where'll I find them? Aim to talk to Sphera. Maybe it ain't a bad idea. They're sitting over there by that hut. 
Mean to go back to work at the mill? Uh, well, yes, I think. Ask this witcher. He'll tell you monsters don't set traps. What's the issue? Ye or anyone ever heard of a beast setting a wagon in the road, then waiting in ambush? They're too plain dumb for that, damn it. Dumb or no, they tore a few of our lads to shreds, and we ran like rats. They deserve to be buried. Really thought you could take on this monster on your own? We had to try. If we didn't, who would? Think Larvik's some kind of getaway for mutants? Witchers stopping in every week? Willing to talk about it? Tell me what happened. Ask away. Remember what the monster looked like? It were dark. Casper thought he saw something, but... Because I did? It was huge. It's maw all blood smeared. Bugger gutted Ungi with one claw. Near spliced him in two. Where it is, you were ambushed. Tell me where. Short way from here, along the road to Lofoten. Saw a wagon crosswise the road near the woods. We barely got to it when something came rushing through the underbrush and whoosh. Blood spurted in me eyes. I wiped it away, looked, saw Einar lying dead. Hmm, interesting. Thanks. Huh, for what? Friend of y'all's, see if you're a common folk. Bah, devil take you. Don't cross our lads. Move it. I could have married a continental man. Adventure seeker. left. Beast must have dragged the shredded body to the woods. Creature leading the Neckers is sentient. Gotta be. Capable of setting primitive traps at least. Tracks lead into the woods. have developed an immunity to the toxin. Now the poison protects their <laughs> nest. Clever.
the main nest. I got company. Slower. That's it, Roach. Come on. So will you help then? Killed the beast that was troubling you. Merciful Freya. Horson's finally dead. <laughs> now, tell us, was it a tough fight? Got any wounds need dressing? No, I'll be all right. Ah, uh, nothing new to the likes of you. Hard work, witchering. All right, your reward. This here's for you. Thanks. So long. Oh, 
help us? Oh, I fit! Turns out they spoke the truth about you. about So, did you find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. You and my da, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. But you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's cause I've never chosen comfort and ease. The calm and the quiet. Could you tell a trout from a charm? Looks like rain. Watch is over down for your sake. The blood of kings. Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember.
What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige, and the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off.
Ain't nothing. I never knew a man as brave. Why'd you do it? What is this? Ludwig. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why'd you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams, at times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. What's this other way? Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Hmm. And what about the other method? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. 
You think that I am... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. What can I say? So, shall we try trekking it first? Yeah, let's. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Shattered. Udelric must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udelric or Aki. Geralt! come! Think I've got an idea! Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. She's running to the old house! Grab her! Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the bane. In the oven. Throw him in the oven!
The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker, Rog? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Thought we already discussed that. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. To you too. So long. Got a minute? Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, claiming there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. Farewell. Here, P.L. Drink last night, too. Geralt of Rivia, our hero. Supper knives are good for picking your teeth. Geralt, friend, what brings you here? The fight for the throne's grown fierce. Strife between siblings is never good. I know from experience, Yalmar's ambitious, but to a fault. We'd all be better off were his sister to win. Really think so? Or is that gratitude speaking? I am grateful as Hemdel's my witness. No one's ever done more for me than you and that lass. More important, she showed great cunning and courage. Qualities the Isles need now more than ever. 
Farewell. Got a minute? Farewell. And crit, and there's a gallant fella. What can I do for you, traveler? Can you trim my hair? Way it is now, it gets in my eyes. So long. Don't cross our lives. Respect, Witcher. I've no clue what to give her. Maybe a nice little axe. Pretty little. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the git. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krach awaits. How's the mood in there? What's this? It's, uh, adornment. So you're back. Was right, wasn't I? Wouldn't mind a look at your st So long. Oh. Is <clears throat> that odd boy? Yeah. That caught a 
turn. Step careful there. I've as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me. Not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it should be you. Cause you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarns with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Ceres! Hey! God damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so... so... Why, stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Ceres, we're near twins in that regard. Don't see Krach. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell, Witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fifty cups with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Drink last night, too. May your axe never crumble. Respect, Witcher. Come on, Something I've you always me. What do you witchers do once there are no battles? The giants More silver there than in the dragon's horde. So the continent they raise temples to fire. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, a hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean do I have a favorite? Nay. <laughs> They're as different as fire and water. But on Crate blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? 
Then yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skellige, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I will not stand for this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabbit dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Jarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. That can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Someone the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you.
ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. What happened before the map? His then. We turned. We'll avenge them, I promise. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn Du. Blue Boy Lugos. Yalborn Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos, as you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath you, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Have here bear's head but the tongue's short like a human's mouth smells of honey liqueur mead and something else something earthy bears like honey before it's fermented strange something under the fur a tattoo Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. All the horns are empty. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... human blood? Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were- Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try.
disgrace. The kind we've not seen since the Red Funeral. You had died there. Another yard. Freer, our mother. This turns out to be. Freer, our mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freer, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said. Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrome related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrome were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Mardrome. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's got to flow, and so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end, down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> the stench! Is that vodka? Mahakaman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind.
right behind you. That's a relief. This mead's clean. Nothing here either. and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! Burned alive? Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. This is a secret passage. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Once. Ah. Bygone days. Place of power. Should draw from it. Get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, <laughs> but I've no witcher senses at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. Someone walked through the mead. Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby. Something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. 
It can't be. What is it? Arnfeld's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Look! It's him! Grab a horse. We'll chase him down. Don't stand a chance. Way to see you, boy, that! Come on, Roach. Betray them. Talk, or I'll finish what I started. No Oncrete should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skellige needs stability. A strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken Jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar, Arnvald. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan of the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the maid. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Creighton. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boonar Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Sarah speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. When Cyrus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in! Good man. He's a servant to Oncrate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. I can vouch for Cyrus. She's telling the truth. You? Yeah. Yet another uncrate lackey. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher more than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. 
a letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Saris. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damned castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. You gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Svan Riga, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crete. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. I had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me, see for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. Might join you later. Counting on it, as are my children. So you're back. Was right, wasn't I? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
What's this? It's uh adornment. Get him. Come on now. Quick now! All the yards of Gallic Carnage has begun already! Ceres and Crete! Skellig has new queen! The gods will favor us! When long ago, we gave King Grant back to the sea. Today, our morning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, 
a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 